for any woman to be killed and, and only have an hour and a half or two hour investigation about it. That or every woman in Warrensville in any city should be scared. I have to live the rest, the rest of my life knowing that I wasn't there for my baby. She must have been terrified. She must have been terrified for her children downstairs. I saw a pattern of domestic abuse. Watch this, this whole pattern of abuse, apology, abuse, apology. It's all throughout the thread. Abuse, apology, and then watch this, acquiescing. Her, okay, okay. Man, I would have snatched her out. Yes, guilty, guilty. She should have left. That does not justify you taking her life. This is the story of Amanda Williams, a mother, grandmother, and a talented hairstylist who was loved by her friends and her many clients. She was happily engaged to the love of her life and was looking forward to all that life had to offer. But beneath the surface of a seemingly perfect relationship lay a torment that only a few knew. There were allegations of abuse and tragically, Amanda's life would be extinguished as she would be discovered dead with multiple gunshot wounds, leaving her family and community shattered by grief. How could this happen to someone who was so excited about life and loved by many? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Warrensville Heights, Ohio. Warrensville Heights is located approximately 13 miles southeast of downtown Cleveland. It is considered a suburb of Cleveland and is situated within Cuyahoga County. 46-year-old Amanda Williams, a resident of Warrensville, was the heart and soul of Ville Heights, a close-knit community where everyone knew each other. She was a wonderful person, always kind, positive, and caring. At 46, she ran her own hair salon called Alamode Styles, which was more than just a hair salon. It was like a second home where people felt special, thanks to Amanda's prompt and friendly service. Hello everybody, it's me, Amanda the stylist. Just wanted to come on here and say that Alamo Styles is looking for a braider to join our team. What made Amanda exceptional was her ability to connect people and local businesses. She turned Ville Heights into a tight-knit family. She was not just a business owner, she was the cornerstone of the community, making sure everyone succeeded together. Amanda was more than a businesswoman, she was also a member of Delta Sigma Theta sorority, dedicated to helping and inspiring others. She was a loving mother and wore her joy for her two children like a badge of honor. Amanda was engaged to Terrell Edwards. The two appeared to be very happy and would often be seen enjoying themselves on vacation together and having romantic dinners. She loved her fiancé and had no problem expressing her love for him online. Her happiness was visible in her warm smile, but sadly, Amanda's life would take a devastating turn one fateful day in October. On a late October 9 evening around midnight, the police received a disturbing call about a domestic dispute. Police rushed to Amanda's home on Sunset Drive, not knowing what they would find, and what they found was horrifying. Amanda, the beloved soul of Ville Heights, was lifeless, her life cut short by multiple gunshots. The officers acted quickly to save her, but her injuries were too severe. They rushed her to the hospital, but, sadly, she didn't make it. This left everyone with many questions and a heavy sense of loss. The shockwave of this tragedy spread throughout the community, leaving people in disbelief and heartache. Officers responded to a shooting on Sunset Drive in Warrensville Heights. Williams, a mother, grandmother, and popular Cleveland hairstylist, was found with multiple gunshot wounds. The 46-year-old was pronounced dead a short time later. Her pastor, Dr. R.A. Vernon, says the killing was the end result to years of domestic abuse. The evidence are pictures of him beating the hell out of her. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, it's clear. I mean, literally, texts that say, uh, I'm sorry, I kicked you in the face. A person of interest who Fox 8 is not identifying since no charges have been filed was taken into custody but released 48 hours later. Williams' family attorney says that person claimed he was the victim, citing Ohio's Stand Your Ground law. The Williams family attorney says the evidence initially presented to police was not the full picture. They're hoping additional evidence brought here today will change the outcome of this case. And we're asking that you let the evidence speak 
and see a clear pattern of abuse and manipulation. From the pulpit to Warrensville Heights City Hall, Fox 8 cameras were rolling as loved ones marched into police headquarters to present more evidence in the case. Evidence they hope will result in justice for a woman who was beloved by those who knew her best. Amanda was light. She was love. Um, she was peace. As the details emerged, a shocking twist came to light. Amanda's fiancé, Terrell Edwards, turned himself in, claiming that he had acted in self-defense. This revelation shook the community as it conflicted with the image of Amanda's happy life. Amanda's fiancé, a figure once close and intimate, had become the center of suspicion. The Cleveland Police Department had taken him into custody, yet his identity remained veiled, concealed behind a legal labyrinth of uncertainty. No charges had been filed. As per Ohio's Stand Your Ground law, Amanda's fiancé claimed to be the victim, a claim that raised an unsettling question mark over Amanda's murder. In the eyes of the law, the story was not yet clear. He was released from custody and allowed to go home. Now to a cry for justice after a young mom and business owner was shot to death. Amanda Williams was killed two weeks ago in her home. Today, her family is demanding to know why the man police arrested was set free. I have to live the rest, the rest of my life knowing that I wasn't there for my baby. Oh. She must have been terrified. She must have been terrified for her children downstairs. Amanda Williams' mom showing raw emotion. Her daughter shot and killed back on October 9th. Police arrested but then later released Williams' fiancé. We're not naming him because he's not been charged or indicted. Today, family and friends join Pastor R.A. Vernon of the Word Church demanding justice, claiming Amanda was the victim of domestic violence before she was killed. What did I see? I saw a pattern of domestic abuse. Watch this. This whole pattern of abuse, apology. Abuse, Apology. Amanda's daughter fought back tears. I'm speaking for my mom because she's not here to tell her story. My mom did not deserve this at all. She was the best person, the most loved. I thank you guys for the support. Amanda's daughter left this police station expressing optimism that her mom will get justice. Pastor Vernon says he shared with the police pictures and texts that will prove what he's saying, that she was murdered without cause. The Williams family attorney, however, was unyielding in their pursuit of justice. They believed Amanda's fiancé was not telling the whole story. Reportedly, for years, Amanda had suffered in silence, trapped in a cycle of abuse, her body and soul bearing the scars of violence. It was a chilling revelation, casting a pall over the tight-knit community. The investigation raised many questions. What really happened that night behind closed doors? Was it an accident, a misunderstanding, or something darker? The answers remained unclear, casting a shadow of mystery over Amanda's legacy and the community's sense of security. Ville Heights, once a haven of harmony, now grappled with an unthinkable tragedy, forever marked by the memory of a woman who was taken from them too soon. Amanda's family was unrelenting in their quest for justice, their faces etched with pain and frustration. They gathered at police headquarters to present more evidence. Each piece of information, each photograph, and each message carried the weight of a woman who was cherished by those who knew her best. It was evidence that they hoped would crack the case wide open, revealing the truth that had eluded them for so long. No one knows what really happened between Amanda and her fiancé, but what is known is that she was shot four times by someone she loved and was supposed to marry. How could any conflict between the two result in her needing to be shot four times and killed? The case is still ongoing with the family wanting the fiancé to be held accountable for the death of Amanda and the fiancé claiming self-defense. In the eyes of the law, he is innocent until proven guilty. What happened to Amanda was a tragedy. She lost her life to someone she loved, and now her children are without their mother, and her friends and loved ones have to cope with this devastating loss. My condolences to her friends and family. May you get the justice you seek and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.